All right, today I am returning uh, my forge wastegate actuator back to the forge recommended setting of three full turns for preload. My tuner had me take it all the way down to near zero preload to see if it was would help with another issue, but it didn't. I got a M6 by one coupling nut and I cut it in half so there was more area there and you'll see why in a minute it's it can sometimes be at an awful angle to get the nut or the 10 millimeter wrench on the uh, nut that that thing comes with so I wanted a larger one to be able to get a socket on and you'll see how that works in a moment but um let's see first thing I do is get a pair of ne small needle nose vice grips on that rod uh, really close to the actuator valve itself so I'm, I'm going to try to do that so I've already removed the CV boots heat shield uh, the reason I'm putting that on there is because this the needle nose will only spin so much and then um That'll keep it from uh, the rod from turning. First thing I'm going to do is loosen the outer nut. I'm keeping an eye on the actuator rod and making sure that that vice grip is doing its job, obviously. You can see there's a gap between the nut and the uh, wastegate actuator the linkage and there's very tiny gap on the inner nut uh, to linkage there I only had it set at about one half of a turn of preload before but if you're trying to um, make an accurate adjustment um, what you want to do is get the nut right up against the linkage oh, I forgot I wanted to show that trust me the round dowel is a lot easier than getting your hands up in there all right so I've got clearance on both sides the wastegate actuator I'm gonna push the action that wastegate linkage towards the actuator diaphragm and then bring the then bring this inner nut in up against it Until I feel some resistance on it that seems to be it <coughs> now I'm gonna back it off three full turns so I've got to count the six sides three times that's 18 I need to see this turn 18 times right so uh, here we go let's try to not mess this up okay we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that's two full turns 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now we just got to tighten that outer nut. And the preload is set at three millimeters or three full turns of preload. Uh, if you were uh, trying to reduce preload, obviously you would just back this outer nut off however many turns you were going for. I personally would loosen it up and then turn the uh, inner nut my adjustment and then just snug up this outer nut. I mean, it's, you can do this with a 10 millimeter wrench. I used to, but God, it's easier doing it with a socket. And uh, using that wooden dowel to turn the inner nut to make your adjustment once it's all loose. Of course, this deletes your uh, retaining clip that couples that snaps over those two 10 millimeter nuts but I haven't had it loosen up ever and we're getting close I can tell we're Almost there is all the gap is gone on that inside between the nut and the wastegate linkage. And it's starting to tighten up now. So I'm just going to make sure it's tight. And we're done. And remove the vice grip. Replace the CV boot heat shield and you've adjusted uh, wastegate preload. Uh, but definitely uh, consider an M6 coupling nut. Cut it in half with a cutting disc on your grinder or Dremel. And uh, um, I put the factory in towards the wastegate linkage just so I don't have, you know, a if the cut isn't perfectly perpendicular to the axle axial of the uh, threaded rod then you don't have to worry about it sitting flush up against that um, the wastegate linkage and you'll always have a spare outer nut because you got two halves now so that's it we're done this is a mark 5 uh, 2007 FSI with a ko 4 forged wastegate actuator and I just set it back to Forge's suggested three full turns of preload. That's it.